live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. Okay, so give it to me. <sighs> so this one had <laughs> Leslie Nielsen, Annie Francis, and Walter Pigeon. Walter Pigeon. And then we're going way back That's to 1956. Yeah, we are. We're bouncing around through the decades. This is a this is a classic. classic and this is classic. about a uh, a crew, a starship crew, that go to investigate the silence of a planet. What? What am I saying? The silence. The, the silence? The silence, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's because they went, out, they went on radio silence. Oh, silence. Right, silence. I was thinking science. Sorry. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> science! Anyway. Science! The science! Starship crew goes to investigate science! the silence of a planet's colony, only to find out science. that there are two survivors and a deadly secret that one of them has. That's right. Yes. Yes. And who was the actor that had the deadly secret? Walter Pigeon. Walter Pigeon, yeah. yeah. That was the guy. He was a great actor at that time. Yeah, he Wasn't was. He big, big time with He that? was big time, yeah. right, yeah. And I like Nelson Nielsen before he was goofy. <laughs> before he was goofy, yeah. <laughs> I, I love the, the the crew of this was just great, you know? And the thing is, is they, they, they had this, uh, the, it, it was such an interesting dynamic, and, and uh, the, the dynamic had a lot to do with the look of it. Oh, yeah. You know? It was yeah. so strong and modern and sleek and and kind of uh kind of an unforgiving kind of modern you know it was uh i really dug it and what, <laughs> do you know what it reminded me of what this is gonna probably piss you off but uh in some ways it really reminded me of saturn 3 <laughs> maybe not story-wise but feeling like how they approached the spaceships and how the interiors were kind of you just keep dragging me back to that piece of trash. <laughs> and I gotta garbage. say it, I probably enjoyed this just a little bit more than Saturn Three. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's great. I I love. <laughs> I didn't mean this to film. derail your I, thoughts there. Yeah, but, but I, I, I you know, like I, I had a thought. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, I I kept I thought of Saturn Three a couple times during this. Yeah, you know what I kept thinking of? I kept thinking of uh, Fantastic Four. Ah. Uh. My the Fantastic Four film that I did, yeah, that I trapped a lot of this kind of uh, lot. I mean, as much as you could get that look on a dime, right? Right, you know, for for a dime and, and still get changed from it. Well, they had pretty uh, good costume design. I mean, oh yeah, just the set yeah. design was great. Yeah, the set design was just so. I also cool. thought of something else, but you, you you probably thought I'm sure you think of it. I mean, look at the robot. It's like, what do you think yeah. of when you see the robot? <laughs> well, lost in space. Lost in space. That's it's. It is the same robot. Yeah. You know that, right? <laughs> right. Well, I had to bring that up. But weren't the? It seemed like there were more moving parts in his head in this one than there were in Lost in Space, unless I'm not remembering it correctly. I think it was the same robot. Uh, but just painted darker. Very famous. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, you know, um, yeah. How many uh, forbidden? You know, how great Japanese toys, right? That you know had that robot in it. Uh, it's just awesome. But yeah, I, I thought. I mean, it was pretty basic plot, and you don't like to think too hard to watch it. Yeah, it, <laughs> but it was interesting when Ed like, when Ed came up. What? What? I, yeah, Ed being attacked by you know the Ed. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and there were some really good shots of the monster attacking, like yeah. when he was yeah. fire. He was like kind of. You know what I mean? Like is they it, kind of outlined yeah, no, no. him. Well, that's it was rotoscope. almost like those cartoons of the time. He has rotoscope. Oh, it was it, like the cartoons of the time. It then. was. Yeah, the, <laughs> basically. This is, this is, but but this is kind of like the the old example of rotoscope where they would uh, they would actually uh, do the creature by scraping marks uh, on a, on yeah. film that was exposed and then put a gel behind it, right, and then lay it back over, and then. No, and then redevelop it, re, uh, re, reflash it, reprint it, and, and develop that, and that's how you got that. Yeah. And uh, at Rotoscope was that was uh, a cool scene. Yeah, you, you, he was you throwing know, bodies around. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, but I, I I just I love the look of it. Uh, I you know Rotoscoping is one of those uh, effects that just has not aged well. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> right, it, wherever Rotoscoping shows up. It's uh, pretty funky, but did you notice? Did you notice the stop motion? Oh yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. When, when they did the screens came down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the Metropolis kind of version of them, of looking at them with the, all the huge set paintings and mm-hmm. stuff around and stuff uh, when they went down down deep you know to to go down deep into the id and how many different <laughs> how many different um metaphors right. can one person make for the size of one's id right. and the and the depth of one's id you know because you had to go deep and down into yeah. it was um pretty All amazing levels. You know, seven thousand layers how, how much <laughs> how, this is seventy five hundred layers or something seven hundred thousand seven hundred thousand uh, layers uh, below the top of the <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I was like uh, okay and well there you go. their brain machine that's what caused all this trouble that's that's right <laughs> so it didn't have a molten core no <laughs> it had <laughs> this core well, one thing that I thought was really funny was when they were talking about how, how long ago these people lived. Right. But all the machines when, are like no dust on them. Or, <laughs> it's like everything looks brand new. Well, well, wait a minute. There was an explanation for that. Yeah. They're self-cleaning. Right. Yes. You know, yeah. it's like, I get, okay, but I got an oven and it's supposed to be self-cleaning too. And I don't think it would look that good in that veneer. No, probably not. <laughs> no, no. Probably wouldn't still work either. Yeah. I don't think so. But, but this is a tent. Yeah, that's a tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a tenth. As he was going, then that's ten more, and that's ten more, and that's ten more. And just, it, you know, <laughs> I love the fact that that scene went on all that he kept going tenth, and then that's ten more power. So that's then to the tenth, and to the tenth, and to right. the tenth, and to the tenth. And he was like tenth. almost infinity. Like, yeah, almost <laughs> infinity. Yeah, were you going to stand there and tell us about it, like one tenth at a time? Here comes infinity and beyond. <laughs> I love the the alien arch. This famous alien arch. Did you hear that part? Yeah. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, the doorway, that, that there, archway. Yeah. I thought it was kind of a lame arch for, for being, you know, the height of that particular civilization. Didn't that same arch collapse later on? Well, like, very it, easily. It did. It went down <laughs> like a. <laughs> and that that metal that that the door. I, I, did that they couldn't you, did you like get it? through. What, we made a mold of his paw, and it looked like this. They, <laughs> that paw was, was amazing. Was it was crazy. a claw. It was, like, it was a claw. It was, yeah, it was it amazing. Was a, it was like, yeah. So we, we poured plaster in, and we made it look like this, this is what we think boom. it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of loved that. I really did. Yeah. I would have been on the first spaceship out of there, actually, if I was there, but. <laughs> or the only spaceship out of there, whichever one. And how uh, it was kind of disturbing though. It was like a Me Too kind of feeling I had when uh, all the guys were making out with the girl because she'd never really been around. Right? Men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Are you going to kiss me like everybody else is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to tell you, I do not. Now that I get into, uh, you know we're looking at all these old movies and stuff the misogynistic overall point of oh, view this had a lot of misogyny yeah it was, like, yeah, it was pretty it she was, was only pretty one heavy. woman right i mean there's yeah no, yeah unless the robot was female i don't yeah. know yeah well hmm. you don't Could know reba the robot yeah. but uh yeah baby it's cold outside <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah i i loved walter pigeon uh and and francis was pretty good pretty hot little little hottie there little there there's some me too moments just then, for where me. is my robot that can create beer for me or, or uh, exactly i or, need 60 or, how need many gallons 60 of gallons <laughs> i need 60 gallons of this particular hooch go meet me behind the rocks yeah. what was great is he didn't formulate just the hooch but he also formulated the, bottles. the bottle i noticed that I too that, that was pretty interesting i was like well okay <laughs> you know that was a weird prop decision right there it was, yeah. you know it's because well I don't think it was 60 gallons. They had to identify. It wasn't that you many gallons see. either. If you, if you calculated the bottles, there weren't that many bottles there. Well, yeah. You know, but, 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 you know, it was we a had decision. to take too much I was of, expecting yeah, the big was, barrels or something. Exactly. Wasn't, yeah. You were expecting yeah, a barrel. with a like cork in it or but something. But here's the question. What would that barrel look like? We don't know what that barrel would look right. like, right? You know, but we do know that he brought it to him in this bottle. So, so it, it was, it was. I was trying uh, to figure out how the robot a, carried it, him. It was technology <laughs> from far away. Dumbed down for you and me. <laughs> I want to know how the robot did the robot carry the bottles, or did he just kind of spit them out of himself and pile them up? Well, I, I, it's a it's a good. <laughs> 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 I, I got six hundred and forty one of these. To go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fact that he didn't get a hangover. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
one one thing that I thought was pretty interesting is the little the little cart that uh, that was uh, robot centric, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. car, you saw the right? little car, right? Yeah. yeah. For for one thing, that thing was pretty fast. I mean, you when you saw it coming, oh look, what's coming to, and it was moving. It'd be pretty scary though, because you wouldn't be able to see because <laughs> robots in front of you. <laughs> 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 I thought that was kind of a weird design, but yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting. But uh, what do they do? Just take a like, little small sports car and attach something to it, or take the back end of a car and attach it to this <laughs> trailer type thing? Good question. Don't know, can't say. Yep. Um, the, so yeah, the other device that they had, you know, did, remember there was another device that was like kind of a funky looking thing. So you talking about the gun? No, no, <laughs> the, the, no. It was kind of a digging device that they were using. I thought the guns were amazing. The, oh yeah, <laughs> when they were shooting. Yeah, <laughs> there's more rotoscope. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like it when it's used for funny purposes nowadays. <laughs> well, she uh, she got her man. Um, yep. And he tucked her under his arm and took her away. <sighs> I thought she really dealt with the fact that her daddy was dead, like, very, very well. Like, Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah so it must know, have been post coitus because she was very easily moving on. You could just see her puffing on an imaginary cigarette. <laughs> but she really was into this guy. Yeah. It's like, my daddy's dead, but I'm with my new man. <laughs> You know, but when, Leslie Nielsen coming across as a romantic, uh, masculine guy, kind of. Yeah, I mean, was, uh, maybe it's because I've seen him in so many weird, things. so many weird. Yeah, yeah, but 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 you know, he did a lot of the gangster kind of. I was thinking Police and, Squad and, though, and police, like, uh, yeah, like, he didn't turn to comedy until you know pretty late in his well, like career, sixties, late sixties, yeah, right? Yeah, and uh, and it did him well. <laughs> could, comedy yeah. did well Absolutely, for Leslie yeah. Nielsen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could tell you're going to say something brilliant. I was just going to point out something. Uh, th- there was uh, miniatures when uh, when they were burning through the door, right? Yeah, and and y- y- you know it got like like that uh, the holes in the door and stuff, and it reminded me of the steel wool that I used on Blade. Story time. Story time. With it's story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. It's story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. Story time with Mick. I don't know if I ever told you about huh. this. That w- one of the effects that we used on Blade, and, and, and this is just—it was just just reminded me on 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 we had uh, we had a, a, we were trying to think of something to transform from when the sun comes out, right? Mm-hmm. And how to burn how to burn them up because right, yeah. because you have to you have to ask yourself these questions when you have a vampire. What would happen? How would it how look did, like? How, yeah. how does it how does this look? And the thing is is there's so many people that have done it in so many different ways. And we wanted to add our bad way to everybody else's bad way. Well, what we do in the shadows was pretty decent. Yes, yes, but <laughs> but that but, was a lot of fire. But that was a lot of fire. That was a lot of fire, and we, and and we did that. We I think that we did that one better, right? On Blade, you know, because what we, what we did is we. I we, vaguely remember Blade. I probably need to watch it again. But yeah, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> well, we wait, should review no, we that. Should review it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway. In fact, I'd like to maybe find another podcast to review it with us. Maybe that'd be kind of fun. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So you, you like other people make it more fun. Be, being confrontational to me while I'm Absolutely. In the, the more the merrier. <laughs> so <laughs> what we did is I, I came up with a concept of using uh, steel wool burn to ignite uh, to ignite where the sun would ignite them and then let that, that crawling kind of look of steel wool burning. Right, yeah. You've seen that before, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So what we did is we did a bust of everybody that burned up and you know, we would do a bust of uh, uh, make them a wire form shape of them in real life right and just 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 with wire and then stuff that with a uh, loose steel wool and then um, put a fan over it and ignite ignite it you know just like with little electric pops like all over the place so that it, the Right, yeah. And then we took and we applied that. We used CGI to apply that optically. Huh. So it was a layover, and, and and all of a sudden you would see those burning. So that so that we caught that cool edge, right? Yeah. We actually used those for all the uh, 
for the burning of the creatures. So uh, that 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 was me. That that was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In case you wondered, hey, in case you wondered. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. He's looking creepy. That at me. was me. Oh. <laughs> see, that's appropriate behavior for the dungeon. See? Yeah, there you go. Well, you know. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me. You're ready, it was a ready, ready. Creepy how you looked at me though. Here, but yes, ready, well done. Ready, ready. I'm I'm clapping for you right now. Thank you. Can you, you hear Thank me? Thank you. Thank I'm you. giving you a that's, slow clap. That's just that just re- slow clap. <laughs> but nobody's joining in. Nobody's because we don't have enough followers. That's, so we need people to follow. That's us. right. We need people for a good slow clap. Yes. So tell all your friends to follow us. It's just so a simple click of the this, button. It's so just you just click on just it, right? Cl- That's I mean, it. It's just a button. It's anyway. just a button. So you know, yeah, don't touch. You know what we need to do is we need to make that a huge red button and then put "Don't touch the shiny red button." Or maybe we should say "Don't follow us." Please don't. Don't follow please us. don't follow us. Please. You know what? I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you not to follow us. So anyway, the, so the, I, I I had reminders of, of <laughs> things that I had done on this. Well, that was a layover, wasn't it? I mean, because it looked like it wasn't lined up properly at one point when it was burning. Which, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it wasn't. You know, it, it's funny because I think that actually I had heard somewhere a long time ago that Disney did the effects on this. Oh, really? Yeah. That they uh, was this a Disney movie? You no, know, it's MGM. MGM, okay. MGM, I but didn't but about that. but Disney had a Disney did a, an an animation. They had right. an animation department that did the rotoscoping for the creature. So, well, one of the movies I like is a Disney movie. It's called The Cat from Outer Space. <laughs> that was around that time, wasn't it? Or well, early sixties, it was maybe. That's right, early sixties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This was actually pretty early fifties. Uh, right, fifty four, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. A very sophisticated look for that. <laughs> for, I had to look. 56. Oh, 56. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, so you know what? This movie and me, yes. same age. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Well, you've aged better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah, think. I think I oh, think. I was way off on the cat from outer space. It was the 70s. 78. Ken, yeah. well, Ken Berry. San, Ken Berry. Ken Berry and Sandy Duncan, what an all-American yeah. crew, crew right there, yeah? Yeah, there you go. Uh. So, so... I can't, I'm trying to remember when I rated uh, so, Saturn 3, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like this a little bit more than Saturn 3. Oh, yeah? But yeah. there's other movies around this time that I liked more, I think. When, when did The Thing come out, for example? Anyway... Thing? I'm getting off track here. Which thing? The early one? <laughs> the, yeah, the 50s. Oh, uh, yeah, 57, I think. Because I kind of like that one a little bit. Um, I would give this a, a pretty strong... Uh, actually, I, I pretty I enjoyed it pretty much. Uh, considering the fact that it was made in the 50s, and I'm watching it now in 2018, Right. I, I, I didn't get bored. And I, I liked the right. set design. I liked uh, the effects. Yeah, it had a great look. It really I'd say did. I give it like a 3.8. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I would go four. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Uh, a, a, a classic. Uh, I have to say the music for this one is just amazing. <laughs> and the sound effects too had a lot of cool sound effects. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like the, the fence, those pitchy noises and yeah. stuff, and and the machine cracking. when it was ramping up at the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was like pretty weird. Yeah, yeah, which reminded me of Saturn Three, <laughs> the weird noises. Maybe not that noise the, the, with the robot coming in Saturn 3. Butter, butter. <laughs> See, I, I was hoping we'd get that mudder thing in there again. <laughs> That doesn't I'm really explain over here very well. It, it doesn't. It's no, too it's, bad. It yeah, no, we yeah. Need, yeah, we, we need, need like to get put some, a mic right on it. Here. We need a foley box in here. We can pull out stuff. You know what? I wanted to talk to you about that. I think that we do need a wacky box. We need a wacky box. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's that's where we're at with this. Uh, I, I would say that everybody ought to see. If you it. want to see a classic 50s you know, science fi, this, this is, is it. it. And can I say that we watched this 
from the Internet Archive. Yeah. And if you don't know about the Internet Archive, you're out of your mind. This The Internet Archive has yeah. some of the coolest stuff in it. Uh, and in some cases, you can get on your devices like uh, Roku. I can get on my Roku. Oh, yeah? So you can actually stream it from there. Yeah. But but, but but the the quality was good on this. Yeah, I was surprised. it was great. Well, the uh, the thing is, is the Internet Archive is holding uh, is holding documents. Of course, the aspect ratio was off, wasn't it? Or is it just me? Well, yeah, but that's that's. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. They, so they have documents. <laughs> they have doc- documents. They audio. have they have audio. They have audio of like a lot of recent bands. Yeah, uh, we should put our podcast up there. Stuff. Yeah, they. Well, I, I don't know if you can, but uh, of course we should do Santa Santa meets the aliens or whatever that was called. I can't remember what it was called, but anyway, I'm gonna do that on the other pot, the other podcast. Oh really? Uh, and and uh, Mick Mick and Carnage. Well, give them a give them a plug because you're. Yeah. Why not? Um, as long as they give us a plug, well, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carnage, and it, it's called Best Kills, the Best Kills Book Club. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the Best Kills Movie Club. Movie Club. So yeah. you need to go to the Best Kills Movie Club, and then you can hear uh, me and Scott Paulson <laughs> yeah. screaming and yelling. It sounds like fun. And then come back. Oh, yeah, I pick a film and he picks a film. Uh, <laughs> and, and there's there's a lot of yelling. And, and the thing is, is we take questions in real time. That's all in real time. That's really cool. So that's that's different. I wish from, I had the time for that. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. And the thing is, is it's at three three in the afternoon. So yeah. there's no way that you because I've been wanting to bring you on as a guest. But it, you you have like oh I've got to go to work and I've got to do, <laughs> I've got to do this I got to bring home money and uh. well one of these times I'll just have to park my car somewhere like on you know yeah. on a break or something yeah join us <laughs> I'm taking my lunch break I'll yeah. be back <laughs> I'm on lunch man I'm on lunch my uh, boss would exactly. be like why is he waving his arms frantically and, and talking in, <laughs> to nobody <laughs> it's like no Saturn three was amazing it was amazing <laughs> amazing. <laughs> We had a lot of fun. Forbidden Planet, you know, be there, be square. Thanks for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends about us, follow us, and of course, like us. We can be found on Podbean, which is an amazing app, YouTube, Stitcher, Alexa on any pod, iTunes, Google Play, we're on Twitter as well, at DW Review. And of course, Facebook. You can find us there. You can also email us at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com.